Okay, so I have my Samsung Galaxy S5 here, and I have here my Samsung Galaxy S7. And you can see that I'm using the always-on display on both phones. How I got it on my S5, it's an app that you need to download. Let me show you how this works. But I mean, obviously, with, if you put it in your pocket or your purse or anything like that, the whole entire display is going to shut off. And of course, I have this on 24 hour, uh, but you can change a lot of this around. You can change the text around, you can change the size around. You can even have your notifications on here as well. I'll show you that in a second. But if you press your home button, of course, your display is going to light up. Uh, even if you press your power button, your display will light up as well. Now check this out. This is what I really like about this, uh, this app here is if you do a double tap, it'll go, your display will light up. There you go. The S7 doesn't do that. Now this is a great feature because, you know, if you have your, you know, there's a lot of times, you know, later on down the road, it's possible from you pressing your power button or your home button so many times, it's gonna end up breaking. So this is a great feature to have, I think. Now let me go into the actual app here. Let me show you. Now, if you wanna download it, I mean, go to your app store and it's called uh, Always On Display from S7 as well as a G5 phone. That's what the icon looks like. Let me go ahead and open it up. Now, this uh, app is still fairly new, so there's not many templates. Uh, for example, let me go into clock settings here and then there's only four templates. I'm using the uh, one that's called Galaxy S7 Clock, but you have one here, it's called Digital. Uh, looks just like that. You have uh, Gear S2, preview it looks like that, and you have the calendar one, basically looks like that. But this app is still fairly new, so give it a few more weeks, I'm sure they're going to have a lot more uh, templates in there. You can also go into your uh, notification settings, and you can actually turn on your notifications. You can even turn on your notifications content, and of course you can change the width and the size, uh, the color of the background. Uh, let me see, date and time, you can change your uh, date, your text and color on the date as well. So I think that's pretty much it, but so far I definitely like it. Um, and I'll show you with the notifications. Uh, if you pop that on there, basically it kind of looks like this. Your phone, your messages, you still got your battery percentage on there. And that's pretty much it. Any questions or anything, just comment below. All right, thanks guys. Bye.